Oh man. So two months ago, you know, I, I, uh, I took and, uh, installed my new Starlink, um, on a pole mount with some, some black iron and everybody's telling me hey, the black iron pipe, you know, it's going to unscrew and I'm like, no, 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 we got high winds here. Nothing's going to go wrong. Um, let me show you what happened to this thing. So, oh, oh boy. Um, here we go. So, absolutely nothing has happened to this thing. It's perfect. I'm a genius. I mounted this thing absolutely perfectly. It's working great. But I do have an update for you. Um, we'll show you some. We'll show you some speed tests. Um, I was getting 30 meg when we initially uh, installed it. It's gotten way better. I'm excited for you to see. And if you didn't see my previous video, no worries. Um, I want you to see my speed tests right now. They are uh, pretty remarkable. So here we go. So what's really weird is on the uh, different speed tests on the internet, we're getting a lot of very, very, very different speeds. Um, we'll give you an example here. Um, let's look at fast. So fast, if we hit this guy again, let's watch it in real time. Holy smokes, 110 megs a second. Um, this is up from like 30. The last time we were doing it, oh, there we go. Latency is not bad. Upload speed like 40, 39. And this is with somebody downstairs uh, playing a video game and then the wife's uh, streaming a YouTube video right now. Um, what's really weird though is when we get on the on the phone, or wait for the scene to stop doing its upload, um, it was showing me like really, really, really low speeds that made no sense. But when I was like streaming the... Uh, the Super Bowl, I was getting 4K with like no delay and four of the people streaming in the house and my phone was showing like one, like one meg. It's really odd. So let's try uh, try a phone test on the phone. Let's speed test on the phone. Oh yeah, we're smoking right now. Yeah, so we're killing it right now. But yeah, like I'm saying, even when we were showing slow speeds, it was still cooking. So, man, I'm, I'm just loving this. Let's try uh, just the generic speed test on Google. See, so isn't that weird? We're getting 100 mag now, it's showing 50, so it's like real up and down. I think maybe the router um, does some kind of learning. It's like, you don't need all that speed. Here, we'll slow you down a little bit. Yeah, look at this. But if you saw the screen before, um, it was like 110 download. So, I don't know. Um, here, somebody said I have to use speedtest.net. That's the best one, so we'll try this. Look at all that fancy stuff. Oh, I forgot about checking the upload speed. Ping of 27. I always find that speed test is like completely wrong. I don't think they do, I don't know, this test correctly or something because they always show way better speeds than normals. So anyway, um, that's what's going on with Starlink. We absolutely love this service. Um, it's been killer just with their regular modem through this whole house. This house is really big, it's really old. Um, usually it kind of messes with wireless connectivity. Um, we find the Wi-Fi wi speeds great everywhere. And we can game with it, we can download, we can upload. Um, you know, I do all my 
YouTube stuff. Um, upload it from here. It's very quick. Um, and, and we did this because we didn't have any options out here. We could have done HughesNet, which I've dealt with them. They're a disaster. Uh, we were using uh, Zipply Fiber, which used to be um, Frontier. It was a joke. Um, my dad was on that here, and he had more downtime than he had uptime. And it got to a point where they were just sending him a credit every month. So by the time he quit, it was like he had 400 bucks in credits with him because they couldn't even provide him with the internet that he was paying for. He, he, he'd like have 10 minutes of uptime, then an hour of downtime. And they couldn't explain why. They wouldn't send out a tech that said nothing's wrong, but we'll give you your money because they could see that he, his internet was down. So that was weird. And then Comcast, we had a disaster with them. We had requested internet service and the, uh, the, the, the city we're actually technically a part of were on the outskirts of the city. And the city had a written agreement with Comcast that every resident would receive service. And they refused to give it to us, even though a couple miles down the road, there was a, a development went in that got all Comcast internet. And so I did the measurement and I was like, a thousand or two thousand feet from the nearest person who had internet, and I called up Comcast. They told me they were going to charge us one hundred twenty thousand dollars to run a line to our house. Um, that I made a complaint to the FCC because that's stinking silly, and all of a sudden their offer went down to twenty five grand. And then when I questioned that because there's a contract, that's why I contracted the FCC because they weren't honoring the contract. They made up some garbage about how we're a non-typical install, but they do it for 9,000. And honestly, we probably would have done it. We probably would have let them juice us nine grand to run a cable a thousand feet to our house just so we'd have internet. Uh, but now with, you know, Starlink, man, we're getting a hundred meg download with multiple people um, using the service right now. I actually will run all three speed tests at once and you can see that the speeds are still smoking. I think that's a cool test to do because, you know, the kids will be doing homework or, or playing video games or listening to music or watching watching some streaming service or doing all of them at the same time and it really stresses a network out and i found that this uh, modem actually really handles it well and prioritizes you know what needs that speed so yeah when it was showing on my phone at one point that i was only getting one meg download we were still able to stream the the, you know, the big game at 4K. It was really interesting. And then when I did put more stress on on the uh, the the needs of of the of my phone, I, well, I was put stress on my phone, but I was put more stress on the system by trying to stream a video on my phone while we were watching the Super Bowl. All of a sudden, I was getting 4K on my phone, even though originally it only showed me getting 1K. So. There's something going on with how this little router guy works. There it is. Um, I don't know. Oh, this is where our backup. We were using a MoFi to get internet for a minute there because that was the only way I could get internet was was, was using a, a SIM card from a tablet in a MoFi and I was getting like maybe 15 megs down, but I was getting five megs up, which was really good. Uh, let's do three speed tests at once. Here we go. Let's see here. Go! Run the speed test. Here we go. Oh, we're killing it there. What are we getting here? We're getting... Oh... Nine. What are we getting here? We're still getting 47. While we're getting 10 on the random Googler. And speed test showing 55. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I can't say nothing negative about Starlink. The quality of the internet's good. We don't get stuttering, scattering. Um, yeah, on video, I watch a ton of video. I'm a fat guy. I like to sit on the couch watch a video. And the videos are never slowing down, never stopping to reload. Except sometimes we get a lot of cloud cover and it's pouring down rain. Every now and then, like two hours into a movie, it'll stop for a minute and load for 10 seconds. Whatever, I'll take it. Um, that's about it, man. You guys have seen that my uh, my uh, pole mount that everybody says was going to fail is doing great. It's fine. It doesn't even move. Um, we got some snow coming up, so if I have a disaster then, we'll show you. Otherwise, 
the Starlink stuff is the truth. If you have a chance, um, you can go online right now, prepay 99 bucks as a, as a deposit, and as soon as they've got the ability to, um, they're going to get you signed up with a kit. It's worth your dollars. Even if you have home internet, this stuff's better. I've seen how Comcast does things when you're watching Netflix on two accounts, all of a sudden everything's bugging out. They're not doing that junk, and I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to uh, try to go out there and win these rural um, grants for giving people 100 megs down and 20 megs up rurally. Um, I've seen this thing hit 150 with multiple people streaming, so they can do it. They said they can hit gig. This stuff's great. Final answer. That's our update. Two months in. Have a great night.